Have you heard of Leslie Hummer? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um, she's the uh, the girl who had the record oh, okay. coming into today. Okay. So, do you remember the year that she set that? No. <laughs> 1987. Oh, wow. That was a long time ago. Yes, it was. <laughs> um, were you were you aware of the mark? Are you ever aware of records um, before you go and jump? Or where, where do you yeah, stand on that? I'm pretty sure I had heard of that record, but I wasn't sure like how close I was to it. I didn't realize okay. that I could have beaten it. Okay. Um, when when did you find out that you set that mark? Um, Somebody tell you right away? or? Yeah, my coach told me after I had just done the jump that that was the record. And I just gave him a big hug. I was so excited. Um, are records important to you guys? Or are you just thinking about just doing your best? Um, and, if, and if that's good enough, I'll take a medal and, and well, advance. Yeah, records are nice. But, you know, okay. doing your best is what's most important. As okay. long as you give, like, all your effort into it and um, don't give up at all. Mm -hmm. Um, a PR is just as good as a record. Sure, opinion. sure, yeah. okay. Um, did, just, did everything just go right? Yeah. Did, I, I mean, talk me through the entire thing, start um, to finish. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, I didn't really think about it, and I think that's what worked the best for me, is I didn't really think through it while I was running. Okay. And my coach just said, like, my phases looked really smooth, and they really, like, hung out there, like, and... Um, one, one coach commented to me that like it sounded good, like the you could hear the phases sounded even, okay. and I think that was a big part of why, why I got such a big jump. Okay, <laughs> did it did it did it feel right, or was yeah. there a point where I don't know maybe once you're in the sand that you thought, ooh, that was pretty good. I can't wait to hear what he says here. <laughs> I never really know like after I'm done jumping like what I did, but I think yeah that one felt pretty good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Excited to win a gold? That's a, yes. that's a goal. I mean, you want to come one. here and win some golds. Yeah. What's that? What's that mean to you? To, to beat this means, field? That's some good kids. You yeah. Just went up against. It's awesome having this. I mean, it's the first time this has happened for me, and hopefully tomorrow I can get some more. Okay. <laughs> nice. You do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. You run. You jump. What pushes you to want to do that? You don't. You know, a lot of kids will maybe just specialize. They'll mm -hmm. just throw or they'll yeah. just sprint. Why do you like to do different things? Um, I just like to keep busy. I feel like um, the more things I do, um, I don't know, I just like to be different and just have different things to do. Okay. And you like that challenge yeah. of, of wanting to, to master these events? I mean, triple jump is hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, is, is that part of it? Just wanting to, to learn how to do these different yeah, events and different compete? Yeah, different things. And... Um, yeah, like I said, just keeping busy. I don't really like having to stand around doing a meet and just kind of wait it out. I like to keep busy okay. and have things to do. It helps, it helps the team, too. Yeah, I mean, The more events you can get in and win yeah. and PR in, mm -hmm. that's points. Definitely. That's points. Yeah. Um, do, you get a, do you get a kick out of learning these things mm -hmm. and practicing every day? Yeah, it's, and it's fun because um, every day I have something different in practice. Like, I don't know if I'll be running, triple jumping, or hurdling. Right. So it's nice just to have, like, that variation. Sure. Triple jump and hurdles. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting combo. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the 300's kind of your specialty, and I know you'll, mm -hmm. you'll be the favorite to win that. What what makes a good hurdler? Um, well, just good form, really. Um, and that takes a while to master, really, because you just have to get everything right. You have to get, like, um, your trail leg over and your lead leg over in a certain way. And, um, yeah, you just have to be fast. Turnover is a big part, too. Okay. And not be intimidated by that thing when you get close to it? Mm -hmm, exactly. I'm sure the first couple times you did it, you probably knocked yeah, it over. Yeah, <laughs> I actually fell my first time hurdling, <laughs> but I got over that. So. Okay, uh, how about triple jumper? What, uh, what? Give me keys to that. What um, are you looking for? You well, talked about phases and hitting each one of those. You have to have strong legs for it because, like, um, you have to be able to run and then, like, use your legs to push forward, like, three times. That, that's hard to do. Good spring. Yes. How anxious do you get when you know these meets are coming up? Bang, 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 three weeks in a row. Um. Well, I get. Yeah, I get nervous definitely. But you know, I think nervous. Being nervous is better than like not being nervous at all. Okay. Like it just gives you something to keep going.
going. Pushes you a little bit. You don't yeah. mind the butterflies or the uh, bullseyes? Nah. No, I think it kind of propels you and makes you do better sometimes. And okay. it's better to be a little nervous than to be overconfident, I think. Okay. Anx well, you have tomorrow, but anxious for ship and to get up there and see the district. <laughs> yeah, there, there's definitely going to be some good competition there.